Transhuman Industries. Our once glorious company cannibalized by Entech to build that thing. That thing Forge Fairs is building is almost finished. I can see how the imminent annihilation of the entire planet has been quite motivating for our old friend. But Makino and his Ultralink Armada will be here in under three weeks when he arrives. The only thing I want waiting for him is my finger on the trigger of the Turbo Star. Makino will be forced to grant me anything I ask. If Entech's giant airship stops him, your plan will be useless. Exactly not. That is why you must destroy it. In Entech's desperate hurry to construct their battle station, they have used our old technology. Chances are they haven't disabled the hidden failsafe programs. Our built-in insurance policy. Use them to bring that battle station down from the sky. Take away Entech's best hope of saving the world. Condemn the human race to the slavery it deserves. Understand? Absolutely. <laughs> my name is Steve, and this is my human Max. Go Turbo! Together, we keep the Earth safe from the bad guys. Monsters. Ultralinks. You know, like superheroes. With a secret identity and everything. We are the ultimate Turbo Team-Up. Max has the power, and I have got the alien know-how to control it. And we're gearing up for our biggest battle ever. Together, we are Max Steel. Copy that, Entech 5. Commander Forge, we have the last cargo plane inbound. Permission granted. We get the honor of delivering the last crate from Transhuman Industries. Let's put it over there. Or, uh, maybe over there. Not steel. Here's good. Oh, these things are heavier than they look. We managed to really pack these babies. Using Van Gogh's gravity tech, we compressed 20,000 tons of fuel into only about a ton per crate. Only a ton? Yeah, <laughs> I'm feeling it all right. Gotta say, Commander Forge, this place is looking mighty spiffy. Yeah, Uncle Ferris. Daedalus platform is looking good. It had better be. It's taken a huge team effort of all our forces to make it happen. But we're on track to complete it. Makino is due to arrive in... 21 days, 8 hours, 32 minutes, and 16 seconds. And when he does, he's going to find this platform operational and aim directly at him. Yep. And then we're gonna let him have it. Okay, Max, time to scoot if you're gonna make it to school on time. Um, an alien horde is coming to destroy the world in like three weeks. What's the point of studying? Because, Max... We're going to defeat Makino, and when we do, you still have to pass your exams. Oh, yeah. Save the world so you can take a bunch of tests. Great motivation, boss man. <laughs> Just kidding. Max, get us out of here. Yeah. Go Turbo! Flight! If this platform isn't finished in time, then the planet's only hope is to use the Turbo Star. And that could destroy Max. The Turbo Star is in Dredd's hands, which is fine by me. We have the Deadless platform, and we're gonna get it up and running. Nothing will stop us, Molly. I promise. Bro, I think one of your internal organs is trying to tell you something. Yeah, with all the work on the Daedalus platform, I haven't had a chance to sit down to a good meal in days. No problemo, I'll just ask Doris here, I named her that, to dispense a healthy breakfast. So, Doris, what's on the menu? Treats, snacks, and junk. All three of the major food groups. <laughs> all right. Hey! Max, that is not a well-balanced breakfast. Dude. 
Sugar goes straight to your brain undetected. It's like a stealthy chocolate-covered ninja. I didn't know that. The good news is you can learn all about it by studying for the biology final next month. You think we should tell her there might not be a next month? Maximus, you need to feed your brain as well as your stomach. Here, drink this. What is it? It's a breakfast shake. Hmm. Full of vitamins, minerals, leafy greens, and a fistful of jalapeno chilies. Those things totally get the brain cells pumping. I'm detecting major intestinal disturbance. I advise you to take emergency measures immediately. <sighs> Out of my way! Poor Max. It's always something. Now to hack into the THI mainframe and run the built-in failsafe that Toxin programmed when he worked for me. Programmer level backdoor password accepted. Accessing mainframe. Activate hidden failsafe program. Oh yes, please do. I didn't come all this way for nothing. Thank you for activating me. Excellent. They never found you. Now it's time for you to do your thing. You have just poisoned the system with a toxic virus. Prepare for chaos. And that's my cue to leave. What's going on? The computer's not responding. You're not in charge anymore. I am. What? Commencing engine shutdown. Stage one. Lost engine one. Yeah. Uh, emergency! Come in and tech! The Douglas platform is under attack! Max? Are you okay? Uh oh. Remind me to never eat anything Kirby gives me ever again. Max! We've gotta get back to base fast! It's your mom. She's in trouble! Yeah, guys, I gotta... We know, we know. You've got cat trouble. No, really. My stomach is killing me! Now to take an escape pod and get out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. No escape for you. You're all going down. Perhaps I've made a terrible mistake. What is it? Mom, what's happening? Some kind of computer virus has infected the Daedalus mainframe. It's sequentially shutting down the engines. Beardo, can't you zap it with an antivirus? Negativa! It was hiding deep in the systems we took from THI. I've never even seen this programming code before. Okay, hold on, Mom. I'll fly up there and get you guys off that thing. Max, we can't abandon the Daedalus platform. It's too important. We have to save this platform. But how? I'm switching the navcom to manual control. That should buy us some time. Meanwhile, we've got to find out how this virus got activated. Oh, I think I can help with that. Not! Start talking and make it fast. Well, I may or may not have snuck on board your little battle station. And activated a secret THI fail-safe program I had installed years ago? Unfortunately, it seems to have launched a rather bizarre virus that unwittingly has trapped me on board this sinking ship. Then you've got three seconds to shut it down. I don't know how to. I didn't design this thing. I just gave the orders to have it installed. Well, who does know how to stop it? Only one person can undo it. The programmer who made it. Dr. Titus Octavius Xander. Talks on. I should have recognized that stinking fish. Toxon! That walking puddle of pollution! Max, you gotta find Toxon and convince him to give you the deactivation code to the virus. Convince him? How? With a little turbo persuasion! <laughs> Last time you encountered Toxon was while playing Max Steel Turbo Warrior online. Maybe, just maybe, I can use the game logs to isolate his IP and track his location. I'm locked on! <laughs> that was quick. That's why they pay me mucho dinero. Time to pay a visit to the human gas leak. Okay, so here's the plan. We go turbo, but not too turbo. 
We want him to talk, but we need him to be able to talk. Got it? <gasps> I'll do my best, but sometimes I don't know my own right. Okay, trash talker, time to start talking. Ew. Gross. I never thought I'd say this, but Toxon's really let himself go. Toxon? Hey, Stinky, you in there? No. Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> that went wherever I did go. Wow, this guy is totally out of it. Come on, we gotta get it back to base. Okay, okay. But as soon as we get back, I'm spending two days in the decontamination chamber. <laughs> we have to wake him up. We've got to get that deactivation code from him. Think. We'll try anything. The toxins in his blood have made their way to the center of his brain. It was only a matter of time. He's totally fried. And this is why they tell you never to drink nuclear waste. Conceivably, we could decontaminate his central nervous system by injecting a detoxifying antidote. No, we'd have to inject it directly into his medulla oblongata. But our nanosurgery isn't advanced enough. We need to think smaller, less intrusive. Smaller? Of course! Then gone! We've been using his gravity tech to shrink the fuel cells for the Daedalus platform. Maybe he can help. Yes, it is possible. By creating an intense localized gravitational field, I could miniaturize your surgical equipment. Well, it's kind of big. How big? I see what you mean. Uh, nothing's going to happen to him, right? Are you kidding? We're shrinking him down to the size of a human cell and injecting him into the body of a lunatic filled with toxic waste. Uh. What could go wrong? Oh, man. So, did it work? Hey, can you hear me? Can you hear me? There's no need to shout. Okay, I'm entering the bloodstream now. Huh. It's getting pretty murky in there. There's contamination everywhere. It's a miracle he's still alive. Berto, what was that? I don't know. It almost looked like... Oh, no. No, no, no! Berto, what's happened? I... I lost Cytro! A malicious virus lying dormant for years, and you built it into the very fabric of your battle station. It's really quite amazing. <laughs> I guess you have to be evil to fully appreciate it. Uh oh, time to lose another engine. What are those fools doing down there? I thought people could count on Max Steel to save them. If anyone can save us, Max Steel will. No way. Out of the question. Jefferson, we have no other options. We can't risk it. I'm not letting you go, Max. Someone needs to inject the detoxifying antidote. And who better to do it than the world's two best-looking superheroes, huh? Is it safe? In no way whatsoever. Jefferson, please. Okay. But nobody tells Forge. Max, the system is calibrated. Ready when you are. All right. Let's do this. Doing this. Ah! Remind me to tell Berto to do something about his nasal hair. Here we go! You guys getting anything in there? I'm tracking Citro. He should be right over there. And over there, and up there, and around here. Ah, uh, Berto? We've located Citro. Oh, gracias. Is he okay? Yeah, yeah. He just needs to, um, get himself together. Not again. Max, grab the antidote! What happened to him? What kind of thing could do something like this? I'm guessing they could! <laughs> No.
nanogoopanoids, and they're attacking. Toxon's hatred of us must extend to a cellular level. That's real commitment. I refuse to be beaten and intimidated by something too small to be seen with a human eye. Come on! Well, it's time to fight back. <laughs> now you're talking. Whoa. Oh, there's hundreds of them. Actually, there's 23,418. But who's counting? Time for some low-frequency antibacterial turbo power. Turbo Pulse! Excuse you, burp face. We've got the detoxifying antidote. We just need to find a way to Toxon's brain to release it. With all those Goopanoids after us? <laughs> Not a chance. If only there was a way to sneak past them stealthily. Stealthily? Of course! Candy! No thanks and I'll rot my teeth. If I had any. Kirby said that sugar is like a chocolate-covered ninja. It goes straight to your brain undetected. If we could hitch a ride, we should be able to slip by the Goopanoids unnoticed. Berto, we need candy. Lots of it. Max, candy's bad for you. I know, and I'm hoping it'll be bad for Toxon, too. Ah, claro. I'm on it. Now we gotta find our way to Toxon's stomach. Any ideas? I don't even have a stomach. I know someone who'll know. Max, where are you? Uh, field trip? <laughs> I was just wondering. If I was a piece of food, how would I get back to the stomach from the pancreas? Okay, well, first you take the pancreatic duct into the duodenum, then you follow the intestine past the bile duct. Just one more engine should do it. Then it's say hello to the ground. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, Jefferson, I need candy. Came to the right man. Password accepted. Welcome, Jefferson Smith. You name it, I got it. Sandwiches, more sandwiches, lots of healthy stuff, sweet tooth stuff. Ah. Easy, Berto. Not all at once. You're gonna get a tummy ache. Stomach. Yes, we made it. Berto, where's that candy at? Coconut fizz or chocolate dipped chunks of sugar? Ugh, sounds way too sweet. Use both. Here it comes! Whoa! Toxon's brain. We made it. Barely. Let's inject this antitoxin and get out of this nightmare. Here goes nothing. Oh! Uh, Max? Really? Obsessed much? <laughs> this is not how I thought it would end! I think it's working! Let's get out of here! Uh -oh. There goes the final engine. Have a safe trip down. Okay, Berto, we're ready for collection. Did it work? Max Steel? Toxon, I need you to transmit the deactivation code for the THI failsafe virus. Give me one reason why I should. Because we saved your life. We're losing altitude up here and fast. That ship is the only thing protecting us against Makino. His Ultralink army will destroy our planet. Just like they destroyed Fishy. <laughs> Fishy? Help us. Do it for Fishy. Coming in hot! Hold on! It's
It's gonna be close. Toxon, we need it now. Give us the code. <laughs> okay, you win. Fail safe. Deactivate it. No, don't. Stop. Punch it! Well, I guess I'll be going now. Uh -uh. Not so fast, not. But nothing happened. Everything worked out fine. No harm done. Dread loves to play games, and with Makino about to arrive, I need all the pawns I can get. Pawn? Please! I'm more like a rook, or a knight, or a bishop, or, or a king! Pawn? Never been so insulted in my life. <laughs> Toxon wouldn't give me the decryption key for the virus unless we freed him, so I'm gonna have to debug the entire platform myself. <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna be here for a while. I guess this means we should get the Turbo Star from Dread. No, Max. Dread's got it locked up tight somewhere impossible. I don't want you to even think about using it. I really don't. Password accepted. Welcome, Jefferson Smith. Oh, yeah. Gump the poppy.